6.30, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, opening session prayer will be given by Ricky Dotson, the Pledge of Allegiance by James Claps. <laughs> Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great night you give us. We thank you for the life you give us every day, Father. Father, we just ask everything we do tonight to be pleased and first and foremost to you, Father. Our best to our children, both in family, Father. I just thank you for, for all you do. Thank you for the rain you give us today, Father, it's refreshing, Father. I just ask you to give me when I fail you. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, number four, approval of the minutes from the May 16th, 2023 meeting. Those were emailed out in your packet. I make that motion. Motion by Rick Dawson, second by Wayne Taylor. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Number five, any additions or deletions to the proposed agenda? Uh, I've got two here uh, that we just left the education committee meeting, and these were uh, uh, 142 uh, budget to clear all the uh, uh, funds out for year end for the federal projects. Uh, so number 10 would be approved fiscal year 23. Final 142 Federal Projects Amendment 10 uh, to clear all the funds for year end. And the, no, the second one is be number 11 under new business. And it will be approved reclassifying fund balance amount of $256,876.67. I'll pass this around to y'all right now. Uh, from the account uh, to the unassigned fund balance. And that was an account that was set aside as a reserve for many years ago. And, uh, we ever figured out why it was set aside, uh, but it's moving that out of that reserve back into their fund balance. So number 10 and 11, I'll entertain a motion to add those two. Motion. Motion by Shirley, Shirley. Alice Reed, sorry, second by James Klaus. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed? Number six, approval of the June 20th, 2023 meeting agenda. 
Motion by William Abstin. Second by Wayne Taylor. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, so we have nothing under executive action, uh, under consent agenda. I'll read through all these and we'll approve the consent agenda all at one time. Number one, letters of retirement from the following, Mickey Smith, Jennifer Shope, Edward Walker, Billy Brooker, and Danny England. Number two, letters of resignation from the following, Lisa McCoy, Brenda Lou Reeser, Mackenzie Purdue Gillum, and Wade Eldridge. Number three, fiscal year 23, 141, general purpose school revision seven. Number four, fiscal year 23, 141, general purpose school revision eight. Number five, fiscal year 23, 141, general purpose schools revision nine. Number six, fiscal year 23, 142, ELC revision six. Number seven, fiscal year 23, 142, ARP IDEA revision three. Number eight, fiscal year 23, 142, ARP IDEA preschool revision three. Number nine, fiscal year 23, 142, Title 1A revision 10. Number 10, fiscal year 23, 142, Title 2A revision 10. Number 11, fiscal year 23, 142, consolidated admin revision 11. Number 12, fiscal year 23, 142, Title 1A revision 11. Number 13, fiscal year 23, 142, Title 2A, Revision 11. Number 14, Livingston Academy Overnight Volleyball Camp Trip, March 17th through March 19th, Chattanooga. And number 15, Livingston Academy Overnight Trip, Overnight Volleyball Trip, uh, September 9th, 2023 to September 11th, 2023 to Gatlinburg. And all those uh, amendments were sent out and there was notes put at the bottom of those like we talked about last month. So is this 24? Sorry, Jarman, just mentioned that. Let me look yeah, here. Yeah, 24, aren't you? Everybody good changing that to 2024 then if there's any updates we can put it back on so number 14 should read March 17th 24 through March 19th 24 and Crystal you can find out and verify that for us if you don't mind any other questions entertain a motion to approve all the consent agenda items a motion by James Klaus second by Mitch Stonesaw for any discussion all in favor please say aye, aye. opposed motion passes New business items. Uh, number one, consider approval of the following board policies as recommended by TSBA. 1.102 board members, 1.106 code of ethics, 1.400 school board meetings, 1.402 notification of meetings, 1.404 appeals to and appearances before the board, 3.202 emergency preparedness plan, 3.204 threat assessment team, 3.205 security, 4.204 summer instructional programs, 4.300 extracurricular activities, 6.4001 student surveys, analysis and evaluations, 6.402 physical examinations, examinations and immunizations, 4.403 library materials, 5.106 application and employment, 5.119 employment of retirees, 5.302 sick leave, 5.305 family medical leave, 5.307 physical assault leave, 5.600 staff rights and responsibilities, 6.200 attendance, 6.202 home schools, 6.300 code of conduct, 6.309 zero tolerance offenses, 6.314 corporal punishment, and 6.319 alternative education. And those were in your attachments as well. Uh, and the email from TSBA that summarized all the changes um, was emailed out and I'd ask Crystal to print that as well for you all in your packets there. And this is the first reading of those, so if there's any additional questions, we can address those before the second reading. 
Motion by William Abston. Second. Second by Alice Reed. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Number two, consider second reading of approval of policy 6.411 student wellness, and that was sent out last month. Motion by James Klaus. Second by Jorman Hicks. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Number three, consider approval of fiscal year 24 consolidated application approval for IDEA ESEA school year 2023-2024. Motion by William Abston. Second by James Klaus. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Number four, consider approval of fiscal year 24, 142 federal projects original budget. I'll make that motion. motion by Ricky Dotson. Second by James Klaus. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Number five, consider approval of fiscal year 24, 143 cafeteria central original budget. Motion by Jarman Hicks. Second by James Klaus. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Number six, fis consider approval of fiscal year 24, 156 debt service original budget. I'll make that motion. Motion by Ricky Dotson. Second. Second by Alice Reed. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Number seven, consider approval of 2024-2025 annual school board meeting schedule. Uh, this was uh, in your packet as well. The dates for July of next month all the way through next year. Motion by James Klaus. Second. second by, a little discussion. Yeah. Second by Wayne Taylor. Discussion. Yeah, I'd like to see us if we can at all because they're going to meet when they're scheduled. But I know people have vacations. They have uh, stuff going on at church. So this coming year, if we can at all, I'd like to leave them on the dates that's on our schedule. I know sometimes we can't. It seems like we switched it a lot in the last six months. Well, this meeting here, uh, it was scheduled for tonight, the 20th. Uh, and I just sent a reminder out to remind everybody because Crystal reminded me because it was scheduled uh, because of the final budget. So, But we have changed it a couple times. So good point. Any other discussion? It's usually a conflict of something that's going on in the school. Yeah. Oh, we changed it. You left Valentine. Any other discussion? Y'all can all bring your bouquets on Valentine's Day. That's right. That's right. That's right. Any, uh, no, no other discussion. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Number eight, consider approval of Johnson's Control Plan Service Proposal, uh, attachment number nine. That was uh, a lot of discussion between Crystal and I. That's a yearly um, plan service that we pay $24,000 a year to Johnson Control. I originally told Crystal not to pay it, but then after uh, Mr. Mosley and I talked to Johnson Control, uh, they do uh, come up and do yearly preventive maintenance on the, the systems that they do. They also provide a walkthrough uh, to do preventive maintenance with our maintenance staff. Uh, so if we don't do that, then something happens and uh, all the system upgrades that the computerized system that ties into the HVAC units, if we don't upgrade that, something goes out and it's almost like a warranty we pay. So uh, after talking to Mr. Mosley, it's something we need to continue to do. Uh, so it's 24000 a year, I think, right, Crystal? Yes. Yep. Yeah. The thing that said the first year was 32000 Yeah, that's correct. Was it thirty two? I'm sorry. 32, yeah. uh, Bill, that we will stop that we talked about. It's, yeah, it's usually like 24 or 28. I, I know it's, that's what we've been paying. But this year's is 24. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So, so yeah, the my, bill they sent us. My proposal would be if the board approved 24 of what we've been paying, and if there's any adjustment to that, I'll talk to Mr. Mosley and say so much. Motion by Mick Stonesopper, second by Wayne and Taylor. Any other discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion passes. Number nine, consider approval of the steps repair at Rickman Elementary. I'll make that motion. Motion by Rick Dodson, second by James Klaus. Any discussion? Uh, go ahead. How much was that going to cost us again? Or are we just it was uh, there for nine thousand dollars was the cost. Uh, originally, it was going to be sixty five hundred if air maintenance people did it. If it's going to be nine thousand if that company did it, so we elected to do nine. That way, it'd be under warranty and no issues. Okay. Um, and that's the steel structure. Uh, and this will be paid in July. That way, it will hit the 2023-24 budget. Okay. So uh, as soon as it's done in July, we'll get those repairs made. Any other discussion? Um, we'll take a roll call on that one, Christian. This is the addition of approved fiscal year 23 final 142 federal projects amendment to clear all funds for year end. Entertain a motion. Motion by Jarman Hicks, second by James Klaus. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Number 11, approved reclassifying fund balance amount of $256,876. 67 cents from account 37455 to unassigned fund balance account 39000. And I'll pass that around for everybody to look at and drop the number of time if you want to. I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion by Ricky Dodson. Second. Second by Alice Reed. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, special recognition OCA, Ms. Jennifer Ives. Hello everyone and happy summer. Don't blink because it'll be over. If you blink, it'll be we'll be back in school. Uh, the only thing that I have tonight is actually a question. Um, I know the governor recently passed an increase in salary across the board for start in, across the whole state for starting teachers, and I've had several teachers reach out to me and ask me what the Overton County Board's plan is to address that and how that will affect everybody. So. Uh, I know y'all are crunching that and thinking about it, so uh, we hope that maybe you'll let everybody know how that will affect each step on the pay scale, and let's be mindful of keeping the steps equally separated so that there is that boost for everybody as we come along. Yeah, so Crystal and I've talked about that with, with Heather, or Heather, I apologize, Sherry, and uh, we're going to have those uh, salary scales next meeting. To approve, and they will be retro back to uh, July. Awesome. Start Thank next. you so much. Thank you. Any other questions? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion by Rick Dodson, second by Wayne Taylor. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion to adjourn. Yes, sir. My name is Tim Kelly. I moved here about 10 years ago from Boston. The reason I moved here is because this is, as you know, God's country. This is where people revere this country, and this is where things go well. I went to your graduation of the middle school kids on the 19th of May, and I have to thank you. That was an excellent, excellent thing. It's done in Lewis Academy, it's done in the gymnasium was well organized, it was well set up. All those kids, looks in their faces were there. Um, there were awards, there were awards for attendance, there were awards for a scholarship. What really struck me, awards for citizenship. You gave 
at six and boys, each of those kids had a really good side of metal and a red, white, and blue set. That was beautiful. But I had a question. We started this meeting today with a prayer and with a pledge of allegiance. And it took 19 seconds for the pledge of allegiance. There was no flag and there was no pledge of allegiance at that graduation. Now, I come from a place where they've forgotten what this country is. And we came here because of what this area is. To not have a pledge of allegiance for 19 seconds is upsetting. To not show those 70 kids that stood there that they own this state and this country. A debt of gratitude, 10 days before the real oil day, that's a problem in my mind. Now, I travel a lot before I retire. Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, California. You all know what those are like now. They didn't get there with one big swift move. They got there with one little step at a time. And this little step at a time at that graduation, with no flag, with no pledge of allegiance, is part of a step at a time. And I don't believe it should be repeated. Now, this is your watch. I'm an old guy. Some of you are almost as old as I am, but I met most of you said the pledge of allegiance to you in school, and look where you are now. You can't let those kids forget that. They can forget it in New York, and I don't give a fat much look. But you can't forget it here. And you need to do something about that. Now, what that is, that's your administrative problem, and your administrator's problem. I, for one, would like to see the next time that happens graduation or a ceremony like that, that there's a fancy flag, an American flag, and there's a pledge. You now know about it? It's your responsibility to do something about it. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, you good rolling into the work session? Uh, work session number one, uh, coaching the supplement schedule. Yeah. I think the last time we had talked about it, uh, Mr. Melton was going to go back. Do you have that pulled up? We was going to go back and look at the athletic director uh, for middle school. Am I correct? Countywide athletic director added the supplement to that uh, and get some information on soccer. Uh, I think I had talked to him and he had reached out to the soccer, didn't get much reply from some of those other coaches as far as their um, student versus coach ratio. Uh, so at that point, I don't think there was a lot of change other than adding the countywide athletic director supplement, is that correct? Uh, versus what we were talking about. And that was $3,000 for countywide. Uh, and everything else, I think it stayed uh, pretty much the same. I think the one we discussed that night, uh, soccer, there was three or four different teams I think we had talked about making sure they were equivalent. Uh, Mr. Melton said he had reached out to those and didn't get a lot of replies uh, back about those. Uh, so before we come up with this again, I'll, if you don't mind, I'll ask him to double check one more time before we bring it up for the July meeting to approve. process. 
just wait for everybody to give me information about it. And you think whenever you're talking about money, it's going to be a little more important than that currently. So. I think that a lot of, not turnover, but there's been several that has changed over the past year or several months. Never had one in the previously. She never, there never was a never any compensation. No, okay. no, and the high school always have had an athletic director, um, but they never got compensation because they use a portion of their uh, day, uh, like one yeah. period of that, to work on the athletic stuff that they need to. Uh, so it's compensated through that, uh, through that portion. I still think that's low. And that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with it anyway. You can make a note there too. What um, I hate to put her on the spot because she's talking about herself, but I mean, we, we can make that decision on what we want yeah, to do. I, still, I still think that's right. Um, so, uh, and just make a note, Dr. Conway, if you would, uh, before we approve in July, uh, we can have an option for three and six. I mean, if we want to approve, if you allow one for three and one for six, and thank you. Have that. Fair enough? Yes, sir. Thank you. Any other questions on that? Just one of these that has countywide athletic 3,000, and one that says countywide 6,000, and whatever she decides on, everything else will be the same. That way we can decide which one we go. Good deal. Any other questions on that? Does anybody else have anything? I'll go around here. Everybody get that volleyball with July instead of March. All right, uh, James, you got anything? William, Mitch, John, no, sir, Chris, Dr. Holmes. Scholarship is in choice. He didn't we turn those in a couple of months ago? Yeah. What do you see that as? Reminds me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those were good. And the director's evaluation. Uh, yeah. So we're good on all those. Yes, sir. We're good. Uh, just real quick, uh, Livis Academy football field is officially done. Uh, so that's that's over with, done. Uh, thank goodness. Uh, really wet tonight. I know. Um, I talked to Mr. Mosley last week with the ESSER funds. We're in ESSER 3.0 now, so they got the units on Allen's Replace. He's put the bid out for the middle school units. He's got the Brackley, Allen's roof, and the middle school roof. So uh, when everything's said and done, he's done a great job with getting all that done. Uh, when everything's said and done, I think we'll have uh, all of our units will be 2019 or better. I think so. Then all the roofs should be taken care of. Uh, then we'll start working on our next building program, which I emailed everybody that initial um, results from um, Upland Design. Uh, once we get with Connie and she gets us that number, obviously that number was kind of everybody's here. If, if money wasn't the issue dream list, then we'll have to kind of prioritize from there. Uh, so once uh, you know, Miss Connie gets us the number that we can kind of look at from the bond company, then we'll kind of sit down and kind of prioritize. I know Allen's, Hillham, Rickman, I know those classroom additions are probably top priority with the growth and the needs that they have, uh, then we'll kind of go from there, so. I totally leave my, uh, I didn't mean to say, I'm sorry. Uh, we had several long-term employees that retired out at the end of the school year.
thank our county commissioner, Mr. Philip Tally, for being here. I think we saw you once tonight. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, sir. Anybody got anything else? All right. See you all in July. <laughs>